The latest edition of Windows 8 is out now. Uh, it's called Windows 8 Release Preview, and we're going to take a little walk through it to show you some of the new features, which include some new live tiles, as well as some gestures that you can do with the touchpad. With this latest release of Windows 8, Microsoft said that the additions that it made are more cosmetic and minor changes as opposed to wholehearted revisions. However, that doesn't mean there aren't some very useful additions. Uh, the chief one is that Windows 8 gestures are now supported on the touchpad. Microsoft is, is working with Synaptics and Elon and Alps to enable this sort of thing. And while they're still a little bit rough, uh, you can still get a sense of some of the things you'll be able to do. So going to the desktop here, you'll see that um, you can do pinch to zoom. So if you go like that, you can zoom in, zoom out. And then by swiping from the side, you'll bring up the little charms over here. And if you pull down from the top, you can see all apps, for example. We'll go back here. And then if you swipe from this side, you can switch between all of the open apps, including uh, the desktop view, like that. And then we go back to the Start menu. And even within uh, the apps themselves, uh, you, can, you can enable certain gestures. So for example here, if you pull down from the top, you can customize, this is the sports app, you can customize it to include your favorite teams uh, or other sports that you like to follow. So, you go, for example, you click on the NFL. Of course, it says we're not connected at the moment. And then from here, you can keep switching through the different apps. And then go back to the Start menu. Now, of course, if you just go to the corner as well, you can also see all of the open apps currently available. Um, going more into some of the new apps that are available and some of the new things, we just showed you the sports app. Uh, similarly, the news app has the same thing and you can scroll back and forth. This gesture doesn't seem to work as well, um, but for when it does, it lets you go back and forth. There's a little scroll bar, scroll bar on the bottom here that lets you go, you can go back and forth. And normally you'd be able to just, there we go, go back and forth like so. Microsoft also in, added some new features to Internet Explorer, uh, the first being support for Flash 11.3. And then there's another feature here called Flip Forward. So for example, when you come to a results page such as this, or something that has multiple pages, instead of having to click on the buttons at the bottoms that say, you know, for example, that say two, three, four, or five, you'll be able to simply swipe like this, and it'll go to the next page. It doesn't seem to be working here, um, but it would seem to be a very useful feature, so you didn't have to automatically scroll down to the very bottom to get to the next page. And Microsoft said that this fa same feature will work for, say, when you're reading an article that has a number of pages or some other in single website that has requires you to flip through a bunch of pages to read a single thing. Um, so it should be a really good feature. Uh, we're looking forward to really testing it out. So going back, we'll just take a quick look at the Start menu again. And as you can see, so the main thing, uh, the main thing really is that it supports uh, when the, that the touchpad supports Windows 8 gestures now. Uh, it's, as we saw, as we can see, it's a little bit rough, but we like where it's going. And we also like the new live tiles and the ability to add our own personal content and customize it. This is Mike Prospero for Laptop Magazine.